Another property of gases that we can talk about is their compressibility. How easy is it to squeeze them into a smaller volume? We define that as the ratio of the change in volume over the change in pressure. Now we use this symbol delta to indicate a change. So a change in volume over a change in pressure. So let's look at a couple instances. Here at point A on this curve, if I were to change the volume, I wouldn't need a very big change in pressure to do that. Notice the change in volume is large and the change in pressure is small. So this compressibility factor is large. A gas is easy to compress at high volume. As you go to lower volume, let's look at another point B. Here's a lower volume of gas. Now, when I compress this gas, it'll take a larger pressure change to make a change in the volume there. So the compressibility is slightly higher. Now, as I go to even smaller volume, look what happens here. To get a change in volume, I need a large increase in pressure. So a large increase in pressure for a small change in volume, this is not very compressible gas. This compressibility factor is very small for low volumes. So compressibility tells us how much can I change the volume for a given change in pressure.